what's going on today guys um got a package going out so i'm shipping one and i'm also picking up so i'm shipping one picking up three so how can i ever make money if i keep buying but uh yeah i'm shipping this one out this one going to massachusetts um yesterday i shipped out to new york so been shipping out to a lot of places on the east coast midwest or whatever but uh yeah, shipping this one out, and then I, when I get back, I'll be doing an unboxing of the three that I'm picking up. So, I got the label. I'm going to use one of their sleeves over there, so I don't have to tape the label on the top. So, I'm just going to uh, put it in the sleeve when I get there and um, stick it on the top. And then I'll pick up my box, come home, and do an unboxing on my new pickups. I drop my package off and pick my... Well, I dropped one package off and picked my package up. So now I'm on my way back to the house. And uh, we can do the unboxing and see what I picked up. Alright guys, so it's time. Open this package up. I'll get rid of my address real fast so we can get to the goodies. All right, before I open this, I want to talk about something that happened yesterday. Um, one of the local, I did a lot of videos at this place it's called Exotic Pets out here in Las Vegas. Uh, his name's Ken Foos. He passed away yesterday. Um, I'm not sure of all the details on the way he passed, but I know he was a good guy. Um, he helped me with a lot of stuff. If it wasn't for him, um, I probably wouldn't went as far as I did with Bearded Dragons. Um, I took him a lot of the stuff that I uh, couldn't sell fast enough, especially when I was um, brand new to breeding. So I would like to give a, send my condolences to his family. Um, he was a very good dude. He helped me with a lot. He knew a lot. He knew a lot of the pioneers of, he actually is one of the pioneers of reptile keeping and stuff like that. Um, yeah. Sad day yesterday. I'm still feeling it a little bit today. Um, actually, was supposed to do some business with business with him this week, and uh, it didn't happen. I got the news last night when I was at work. Um, I almost came home because I didn't feel like working anymore after I heard that news. But so I like to send condolences to him, and I like to dedicate this video to him. Um, he was a very good dude. Again, his name is Ken Foos. He told me plenty of stories about when he used to rebreed and breed dragons back in the day. He was breeding dragons at the same time that um, Bob from Sapphire Dragon Ranch started breeding. He was breeding dragons at that time, so he gave me information on breed, breeding bitter dragons. He gave me, uh, he told me a lot of stories about when he used to breed bitter dragons and other reptiles as well. Um, very good guy. Um, sad that he had to go. Uh, I believe he was in his 50s. I'm not sure exact age, um, but he was a very cool guy. Um, so we can go ahead and um, open this. Hopefully he cheer me up. And um, we get to that. Sorry for the, if you guys didn't want to see that, I just have to say that though. I have to get it off my chest. But yeah, I got three dragons in here. I'm going to show you guys these outside as well. This is the first one right here. And it is a head trans, 66% head hypo. And like I told you guys, I was going to try to get more color into my collection. So I can have that right off for you guys. And this girl is not showing up on camera very well, but I am going to take her outside so I can show you guys. But she has very good color. She's very beautiful. And like always, always double check the sex and make sure it is a female. That's number one. 
She's gonna be going to um, my Hypotrans Genetic Strike Mail that's in the outside pan. So let's go to the second one. The second one is um, another female. And she's gonna be part of my hybrid project. I believe she's a quarter percent, uh, one quarter percent hybrid. Her father is a hybrid, red hybrid, 100% um, head wiblet. Wait, I might got that mixed up. I'll put it. Red, he's a red hybrid, and the mother is a wiblet. That's what it is. So this is a 100% head wiblet. Um, one quarter um, hybrid. You don't have that much color, but I gotta fill in some colors when I come in, especially after seeing the father. And last but not least, is the biggest one. There's a whole pack in here. It's a thin one, I'm not sure. I've never seen one like this. Called Thermo Freeze. Spray on something for it. Gotta look into these. It is still cold. Never seen that type before. And this one came in the bag. It's a little bit bigger. Looked like it made a little mess in there. This girl is orange. A little poop on her back. She has a little bit more size. Beautiful color, blue bars. She's a hypo. And I think I'm gonna take her to Haichu. Haichu is my hypo trans citrus. And I get some uh, yellow dragons with like orange highlights and stuff like that from that pairing. Like I said, I'm going to take all these outside so you guys can get a better look. So we're going to do that right now. Um, all three are in box. And this is a female as well. Alright, we're going to start with the biggest one. She's, she's a little freaked out right now. And that's her. You can see her colors a lot better out here. Beautiful blue bars. And she's a hypo. Orange hypo. And like I said, she got a little yellow highlights, so she should go well with um Haichu. Look at those colors. So nice. So now I'm going to go with the red female. She's in the shed right now. But you can see the color potential. And once trans hit this, it's going to pop out all the reds. She's going to color up nicely. Hundred percent head trans, sixty-six percent probable head hypo. Nice long torso, no curled toes, no nips. Perfect little girl. 
And last but not least, the hybrid. She got nice bars as well. Her father is so red. He's very nice red. And he's a hybrid, so he's 50-50. Pagona, Pagona um, Vitices um, times Pagona Barbata. And then her mother is a Whiblet. So she's 100% head Whiblet. And she's a possible head hypo and trans. And she'll be joining my hybrid project. So future girlfriend for Loki. I want to get some more of these as well, the hybrid type stuff, so I can get some very big dragons. <laughs> but yeah, that's all three of my new pickups. We're very excited about the future. This girl is so nice. Look at them. the red versus the orange. I'm getting a hybrid. They want to hold on to me. This orange girl has like a hybrid look to her too. She has a longer head. Her skull piece is pretty long. Like if you see compared to that one. She has like a long, longer head, sort of like the hybrids do. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these guys set up. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. If you're looking for to buy a dragon, I do have some available on my website and the link is in the description. And um, I'd like to say rest in peace to Ken Foos. You guys have a good one. And I'm out.